Joining us now to react, House Appropriation Committee member, Virginia Congressman Ben Klein. Congressman, it's great to have you with us. And we played that soundbite of Daryl Issa just to remind viewers at home that, you know, even though we're feeling this in the current moment, it's not the first time that we've seen this. But having said that, when you've got an IRS agent that goes and knocks on the home of, the, of Matt Taibbi, who, you know, exposed all of the nonsense that was going on at Twitter, you almost have to ask yourself, we're funding the IRS in a very aggressive way right now, hiring new agents. Are we setting new standards, standards um, that give the agency far more overreach and far more power than it's ever had? Well, you, great to be with you. And you see what could happen with these 80,000 new IRS agents. It's going to be uh, used to target individuals. We haven't gotten to the bottom yet of what has happened with Matt Taibbi and the IRS appearing at his house at the same time he was testifying before the committee to study the weaponization of the federal government. You couldn't ask for a better uh, juxtaposition there. He's testifying before a committee studying weaponization of federal government, and there's potentially an agency of the federal government weaponizing its resources against him. So, Congressman, that $80 billion is flowing. Those 87,000 agents are being hired. What are you doing about it? What can you do about it? Because I think there's a lot of folks, you know, at home saying, when is this coming for me if the money isn't stopped, if the hiring isn't stopped? Absolutely. And if you uh, want to use Venmo or some other app for more than $600, you have to start reporting that to the IRS. They're becoming more and more uh, ingrained and intruding into our daily lives. Uh, we made the first bill that the new House Republicans put forward was to repeal those 87,000 IRS agents, and we're hoping the Senate will take it up. But we need examples like this to come forward and, and actually prove the point. You know, those of us in Congress, we were born at night, but it wasn't last night. We can see a coincidence <laughs> when it's coming. Congressman, I think it's interesting. I want to switch topics a little bit and talk about the FTX founder, Sam Bankman Freed, who's now facing new criminal charges for bribing not just a foreign official, but Chinese foreign officials at about $40 million. How are you thinking about the pressure that not even the CFTC, but some of the Democratic donors who received some of these funds that were linked to Sam Bankman Freed and FTX are now rethinking the ties now that this Chinese foreign official bribe has come to light? Well, it's, cr it's clear that his, his criminal activities go across the ocean to China, around the world, and now he's using uh, money that he got from his businesses for his own legal defense in the form of a gift that he gave to his father. So uh, he's continuing to flout the law, continuing uh, to, to engage in suspicious activity. Justice is coming for him, but it can't come fast enough. Congressman. Really appreciate your time and your perspective. I really appreciate Thanks. it.